Mm, did you put the milk? Yeah, before. You, when do you put the milk? Before or after? Oh, I'm vegan, you know, I don't put milk. That's not the question! With what do you eat your cereal? With almond drink! Before or after? After the cereal! See? I'm gonna punch you. Hi, and welcome in things that you might not know about in the let already in the late eighteens. I don't know if you say that. Fuck's sake! Not that hard. In the late 18th, to stick to a diet of bland vegetarian food, it's another complicated story, don't ask. John Harvey Kellogg and his brother, Will Keith Kellogg, will create per accident the Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Will, the younger brother, accidentally left a batch of cooked corn and wheat sitting out for a day. When he returned, he discovered that it had gone stale. He kept experimenting until the Final recipe. Cornflakes. Cornflakes were introduced to the world in 1906, but before that, a small change needed to be done. <coughs> Shit. John believed that food that was too spicy or too sweet will increase passion. Keep that in mind for later. It's important. He was also aware that if he wanted to reach more people, it needed to sweeten it a little bit. So in 1906, 11 years after its creation, Will added sugar and brought conflicts to the world, leading to a lifelong rift and fight between the brother. They didn't know about the milk thing yet. Kellogg's were the first people to put toys in cereal. It was called the Funny Jungle Land Moving Pictures Booklet, and it was in every box between 1909 and 1931, after toys started to evolve. After a story, story. <laughs> By the way, the first box was made of entirely recycled materials. Am I not able to speak? And today, almost all of their boxes are made from recycled paperboard. Kellogg's has been to the moon. Well, even so, you accomplished more than I will ever do. The groundbreaking. During the groundbreaking Apollo 11 trip to the moon, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins had the breakfast provided by the Kellogg's company. I'm not sorry. Since 1906, why? <laughs> and the cereal, the cereal, for fuck's sake, cereal. If I don't know. Come and lose it, come and lose it. Speaking of the moon, if laid end to end, the cereal boxes eaten since 1906 would reach the moon and back over 160 times. That would be enough. And if I can try this life, this life of mine, you'd be standing here right now and you will smile. And that would be enough. The brief pain attending the operation will have a salutary effect upon the mind, especially if it be connected with the idea of punishment, as it may well be in some cases. The soreness, which continues for several weeks, interrupts the practice 
and if it had not previously become too firmly fixed, it may be forgotten and not resumed. Those are the words of John Harvey Kellogg's, who was against any kind of sexual activity. And those words were about men and circumcisions, for the reason, quote, previously. Why do I speak like that? He will indeed perform this without any kind of anesthetic, for the reason previously quote. What a lovely man! And girls, don't worry. We all know that through history you have never been spared. Well, here, neither. <laughs> it was even more severe. I guess that nobody is surprised that it was more severe for the woman, once again. He reported that the application of pure carbolic acid to the clitoris is an excellent means of allaying the abnormal excitement. Wonderful man, right? What a lovely man! You understand now why he was mad when his brother added sugar? Because he was insane! Yes, but that wasn't my point. The point is because it increased passions. Oh, and he was also racist. Deeply. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like, subscribe, share, and don't forget, happiness is right under your nose, so smile. Stop! Stop doing that! Por favor!